friends it's Amanda here and today we're going to talk about the MAC Lunar New Year collection for the year 2020. This is my third year purchasing the MAC Lunar New Year collection. I do have a video about last year's collection which was called Lucky Red. I'll try to remember to link that in the description box if you want to take a look at last year's collection. Of course, these are limited edition collections, so those items from the 2019 Lucky Red collection are no longer available, but I am going to reference it throughout this video. So if you haven't seen that one, if you're curious, you can go check that video out after this one. But today we're talking about the 2020 collection. This is called Lunar Illusions. We have quite a few more products than last year's collection. There's a blush duo, a highlighter, a nine pan eyeshadow palette, four lipsticks, and four lip glasses. I did not purchase the entire collection. I decided to only go for two lipsticks and two lip glasses. As usual for MAC's limited edition collections, all of these products have special packaging, both on the product itself and the outer carton. So I'm gonna be showing you close-ups of everything. Let's start with the blush duo. This is the Dynastic Fantastic Blush Duo and it's retail priced at 31 US dollars. The printing on the blush duo is raised, so it does have a texture to it. This is the only product in this collection that really has that detail, and I do think it's very beautiful. When you open up the compact, first of all, this is a magnetic compact. There is a small mirror inside here. This does not come with a brush or a puff or anything like that. This is a duo of blushes. The larger, more pink blush on top is called called Pinch O Peach. The smaller section that has more of an orangey peach is called Modern Mandarin. Neither one of these shades are new for MAC. They are both available individually in the permanent line. This is going to be a common theme throughout this collection <laughs> as we're getting virtually no new shades, just new packaging and new combinations. Let's take a look at the swatches of these blushes. First you'll see Pinch O Peach. Next to it is Modern Mandarin. And then the third swatch is the two blush shades mixed together. I am wearing them mixed together on my cheeks today, which you'll see in my little application demo and tutorial portion. Next, let's talk about the highlighter. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Double Gleam. Again, not a new shade, just new packaging. This does have an absolutely stunning imprint in the powder. Of course the outer packaging is very pretty, matches the rest of the collection, but this dragon imprint is just so breathtaking. Definitely a work of art in and of itself. This Lunar Illusions Double Gleam is priced at 37 US dollars. Let's go ahead and take a look at the swatch here. This is just a quick finger swatch on my arm. Again, you will see me applying this to my cheeks with a brush later on in the video. Now let's talk lips. As I mentioned, this collection features four lipsticks and four lip glasses. I bought two of each, so I have half of the collection here. Again, no new shades. These are all existing shades or re-promoted shades. The only lip product that is not currently available is the lip glass in the shade Goldfinch. However, this is a re-promote. This shade has previously been released by MAC. The lip glasses are priced at 19 US dollars a piece. The packaging does have a special design, but it's the exact same size and shape component as their regular lip glasses. It has the exact same doe foot applicator. And to me, the formula feels the same too. It does have that light vanilla scent that MAC lip products are known for. I decided to pick up the shades Magically Delightful and Ruby Woo. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you swatches on my arm of both of these and then I'll show you lip swatches as well. This is Magically Delightful on the lips. And here is the Ruby Woo lip gloss. Now let's talk about the lipsticks. I decided to order the shades Cockney and Marrakesh. Again, these are not new shades. These are just repackaged and re-promoted shades that already exist within the MAC line. 
These were just two shades that I didn't already have in my collection and I really wanted to get one of each type of packaging. Marrakesh has this green and periwinkle packaging and this is a matte lipstick. And then Cockney has the more royal blue and baby pink packaging. And this one's a luster lipstick. These special edition Lunar Illusions lipsticks are priced at 20 US dollars a piece. Let's take a look at some swatches of these lip colors now. Again, I'm gonna show you swatches on my arm first and then I'll show you some lip swatches. This is the matte lipstick in the shade Marrakesh. And the luster lipstick in the shade Cockney. Last but not least, let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette. This is the Now and Zen eyeshadow palette. It features nine eyeshadows. There's no mirror in here, and this does have magnetic packaging. This one's priced at 33 US dollars. Before we get into the demo and the tutorials, let's take a look at some swatches of this Now and Zen eyeshadow palette. I am gonna show you both finger and brush swatches. On the inside of my arm here with no primer down first, the finger swatches will be on top and then the brush swatches will be pictured directly below. And as always, for my brush swatches, I'll be using my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I'll clean the brush off in between each shade using my Veramona color switch. That way there's no transfer between shadows. So let's take a look at those swatches now. Once again, no new shades in here. Eight out of the nine of these shadows are currently available as singles on the MAC website. This shade Honey Lust isn't available for sale as a single as of today when I checked for this video. I actually do own Honey Lust in another palette. It's the Warm Neutrals, the big one. So I know this isn't a new shade, Pretty sure it was also available as a single eyeshadow in the past, so this is a re-promote. Now that you've seen everything swatched, let's take a look at a quick demo and tutorial using a bunch of these products on my face for today's look, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts on this collection at the end. We're starting off with the face first, so I'm going to do my blush with this Dynastic Fantastic Blush Duo. I mixed both shades Pinch O Peach and Modern Mandarin together and just put that all over my cheeks. This is really flattering and very pigmented, so I'm happy with that. Next, we're gonna highlight. I'm using the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I've been a fan of this formula for a really long time, so it's no surprise. This glides on really beautifully. It illuminates the skin with that really soft, like candlelight type of glow. I love this look. I wish it was a new shade, but I do really like the way this looks on. Then I applied some of the lip gloss in the shade Magically Delightful. I love a little pinky nude gloss. Now moving on to my eyes. First, I'm priming with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This is my all-time favorite eye base. I use it for every single look. Then I just set that base with a little bit of the MAC Next to Nothing powder. That way I have a nice smooth surface, not too sticky to work on. Going in with the shade Soft Brown for my transition shade. This is a beautiful crease shade. It's not a secret. This has been around for a long time. It's a favorite of many and it does perform really nicely. I didn't have to do a lot of work, didn't have to build it up very much. I also applied that along my lower lash line just for a little balance for this look. Next, I took the shade Girly. This is a soft satin pink, and using my finger, I just swiped that all over my lid. I was really packing this shade on and then blending the edges with my fingertips. Then I went in with the shade Cranberry. Still working with my fingertips here, I wanted to make sure I got a lot of intensity out of this shade. I really wanted this to be sort of a red, smoky look. This is as close as I could get with this palette. I went back to soft brown and mixed a little bit with girly to blend out the edges and add a little bit more color into the crease area. Next, I used the shade Floof, which is one of my favorite shadow names of all time. And just using my pinky finger, I applied that for a bright inner corner highlight. I wanted to add a little bit more drama, a little bit more holiday pizzazz, so I used the shade Black Tide on a pencil brush. Smudge that along the outer half of my upper lash line and then 
just sort of smudged it upwards on the outer corner. Imagine if a cat eye and a smoky eye had a baby. That's sort of the look that I'm going for here. Then I took just a little bit of cranberry on my pinky finger and smudged out that black tide shade. Then I dragged that cranberry down to the outer part of the lower lash line, curled my lashes, added a little bit of this Maybelline mascara sample that I am currently trying to use up, and that's my finished look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks wearable and sort of that comfort zone type of look, but it's also very sultry, a little bit smoky, a little bit sexy, so I really like how this look turned out. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this collection. First of all, the packaging is really very, very beautiful. All the detail that went into the different packaging designs is just stunning. I mean, this powder is beautiful. This is definitely a collector's piece. This is a work of art. I think it's beautiful. I wish that it was a new shade. I mean, I like the shade. I like the shade Double Gleam. I think that it looks great on my skin tone, but it's just so weird to me that there's no new shades in this entire collection. Why? I mean, I can see re-promoting some and then adding them in to sort of flesh out a collection with some new shades and some old shades kind of working together. I have absolutely no problem with that, but it feels like an odd choice to me. I realize some people are saying that this packaging, it's not red. Lunar New Year is often associated with the color red. It's the lucky color. That is what they went for last year, so I can see why they wanted to make a departure from last year's lucky red collection. I don't know if it's intentional, but the reference to classic blue, which is the Pantone color of the year for 2020, really works well within the design of this packaging. I feel very torn because I do like the way that my makeup turned out and these products quality wise worked well for me. I just feel almost weird calling this a new collection when there's no new products here. Particularly the eyeshadow palette kind of falls flat for me. There's no new shades. This isn't a new or innovative color combination for MAC. They've been playing it very safe lately, and I don't always mind that. I only mind it when it's always. Does that make sense? I'm here for some neutral looks, particularly with this very colorful packaging. I would have liked to see more of that reflected in the shades chosen here. The quality is good. It just doesn't feel dynamic. It doesn't feel celebratory. I don't hate this by any means. I do think that they've really stepped up the quality of these little nine pans and quality wise, especially for travel, I really am a fan of them. I just feel like this could have gone in a different, more exciting direction. That's sort of where I've landed. The quality is good, the packaging is stunning, and if you don't already have these colors, or if you're a collector, then by all means, I would recommend this collection for those reasons, but it just feels like a missed opportunity for me, in my personal opinion. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you guys think about this collection. Do you think I'm totally off base and you just absolutely love this? I always like to hear what you guys think about things too, so make sure you leave your opinions, your thoughts, if you ordered, what you got, all down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Palette for lip, have say, Super, super beautiful. Now I'm not even just doing it in Colourpop videos. <laughs> Dang it. This is the Dynastic fa fan Fanat... <laughs> this doesn't come with a blush, blush, brush. Dang it. Next, let's talk... To... <laughs> what? Wow. What? No one knows. It's okay. I'm fine. Shh. Ruby, Ruby Woo. Why'd they do so, why is there no new shades? What in the world? Last year it wasn't like that. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's like a nudie pink eye. I was, I tried my best to go for like the reds in the palette just to sort of get that 
Lunar New Year lucky red vibe, but it still looks like kind of mauve-y. I mean, it's mauve and cranberry, it's not red. Maybe this is a good opportunity to do a palette redesign. I did that with the Aladdin collection. I think I kind of felt the same way about the Aladdin collection. I still love you, Mac, but sorry, sorry. Magically delightful. I keep wanting to call this magically delicious. This is lip glass, not Lucky Charms. I'm fine. Oh, red gloss. Why did I do this to myself? Oh, she's pigmented. She's glossy. She is glossy. Clearly. Disaster. Woohoo, one more. Last one. And I'm about to run out of battery, so. Oh, and memory card. Wow. Double whammy. Oh yeah. I did it. I did it. Alright, I'll calm down. Okay. Bye. Bye.